The Green Table is a modern masterpiece and considered one of the greatest dance works of our time. It was created between the First and Second World War by a gentleman called Kurt Jules and it was premiered in Paris in 1932. What's really unique about the piece is that it has great social relevance. Up until that time, most choreographers were really concerned with pieces that expressed their own individual personality and the personality of the members of their company. And Kurt Jules came along and decided he wanted to create pieces that had great social relevance. When we work on the green table it's a little bit different than the other creative movement projects we do at foundations. The other creative movement is really about me facilitating the creativity in the students and facilitating the movement vocabulary by teaching them basic skills. In the green table we're doing a recreation or a restaging and what that means is we study the video and I actually teach the students set movement patterns and motifs from the choreography. So rather than them creating from their own vocabulary, they are learning Kurt Yulsa's vocabulary. So that's a particular challenge because it's a lot harder to actually take someone else's movement, learn it, and then bring your own interpretation to it. So it's really asking the kids to work on another artistic level. Part of the process also is to really involve the students not just in the performance part, but in the preparation part. So we actually make the masks um, on each child's face. First we begin by covering the face in cling film, which is always fun, and then we use flour and water and glue and newspaper. And we slowly, with strips of newspaper, build the mask really to fit each child's face so it's really formed around their features. Each student gets to design the mask in terms of who they would like to what characteristic they would like to show in their diplomat. Do they really want to show greed? Do they want to show deceit? Do they want to show humour? Do they want to show someone who's very conniving or very sarcastic? Or someone who is pretending to be something they're not? So they really think about the character that they have chosen in terms of the, what they're trying to portray in the green table section and they bring that to the mask. And then the next challenge is to actually perform that section with the mask because during the creation we're working without the masks and having masks is a very, it's very difficult to dance in masks because you lose a lot of your peripheral vision.